Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are just going to introduce our language. Our language is C Sharp. We're just going to use the C Sharp to develop our professional web applications. I just want to talk about C Sharp. C Sharp is a new features language that supports a lot of things that is being in Java and uh, JavaScript. Here you can see that this is uh, docs.microsoft.com. Uh, this website belongs to C Sharp. This is Microsoft website and you can also read their documentations. But I don't want to say that C Sharp is very fast. So if you go for .NET, uh, I just want to say that C Sharp is a coding language that maybe we can say that uh, English also is a language, Turkish, Georgian is also a language. So in programming, we also have languages. I want to say that that doesn't matter which language to use. Uh, you can use Java or C Sharp, you can use JavaScript or something else. But uh, nowadays C Sharp is very popular. Uh, it has new updates. updates. So I want to say that uh, if you want to uh, deploy professional web applications, C Sharp will be best for you. Now, let's just see why we should use C Sharp. First of all, I want to say that C Sharp is better than uh, Java because of his syntax. You can really fast uh, learn C Sharp. It just take one month or two months. So that is not a problem. So you can learn very fast. And also I want to say that Microsoft uh, supports C Sharp. So you can also check out his documentation and read that. Uh, I can say that documentation helps us a lot. So we can read his documentations uh, use, uh, without any tutor, without any uh, teacher. So you can also follow their uh, documentations and you can learn new things. Now, what I want to say is that, first of all, C Sharp is also very popular languages. And if we look at uh, scores, we can see that C Sharp is always at the top or a second place. So C Sharp is very good. And it's, uh, and uh, we can see that employees uh, select C Sharp languages for their software developer job, software uh, development. And you can also see that there's uh, many C Sharp developer jobs in internet. Uh, if you surface on the web, you can see also C Sharp documentations, C Sharp job, a lot of C Sharp um, jobs. And also, I want to say that if you write C Sharp, you can see also .NET. What is this .NET? I want to say that .NET is a framework. Yes, you can say what is a framework. Framework. Uh, we can also say library. Just see. You can also deploy your web application using C Sharp, but it's harder. It's harder than developing with library or using external third party libraries. Okay. So for that, Microsoft deployed a new framework. That's not new. Uh, it was uh, deployed in 2000. So we can say that it is very solid. That is .NET. Okay. Let's just look at what is this .NET. Free cross platform, open source, a developer, developer platform for building all your apps. You can see that we can deploy web applications, mobile applications, desktop, microservices, cloud, machine learning, game development, internet of things. Okay. So if you look at here, you can see that uh, it's also a big advantage of .NET that Microsoft support .NET. So every time there is new releases, new uh, updates. So it is always a future language. And uh, you, yeah, future framework, you can also say future framework. If you look at that, uh, these scores in the web, you can see that .NET is faster than Java. We can say also C Sharp. C Sharp is faster than Java and Node.js. So for that, customers use uh, and developers use C Sharp for their own business or for their projects. Now, uh, I want to say that at the end of this course, we're going to build an e-commerce application, full e-commerce application. Our e-commerce e application has everything that you have in mind. For example, uh, payouts, payments, or orders, baskets, everything. 
So we can say that that will be very good. Uh, also, I want to say that uh, at the end of the last uh, lesson, every lesson we have uh, works. So you should done these homeworks. After that homework, you can uh, learn new things. I want to say that uh, this. Homeworks help us to improve ourselves, improve our skills, and also main advantage of uh, these homeworks uh, is that you will learn new things. You will learn how to uh, get information, how to get uh, information in this web. For that, uh, we are. I want to end this video. Thank you for watching, and let us go for second part of our course. Thank you very much. Now we are just going to introduce our editor. Now, last video we talked about C sharp. Now you have a question: What is this C sharp? When we should start? Where can I learn C sharp? Don't panic. I will explain all of things at this course. You will learn C sharp, .NET, best practices, clean code, and clean architecture, and that will help you to become better developer. Now. We're just going to use an editor. You can see Microsoft Visual Studio. Um, what is this Microsoft Visual Studio? I just want to talk about that. Also, you can read this part of Wikipedia. Now, uh, when we are going to develop a language, for example, we, uh, for, sorry, when we are going to develop a uh, software or a web application, we have to use an editor, okay? For that, well, I think that Visual Studio is the best editor to use because uh, you can see also Visual Studio belongs to Microsoft.com. Uh, his partner is Microsoft, so it is super editor. It is very fast. It is very comfortable, so uh, you can use it. It is free. It has community uh, community version, which is very good. You can use it, and it helps us very very good. For example. It completes automatically our code. Let's just look at. You can see that we write here. This is Visual Studio. This is another ID. We know. Also, this belongs to Microsoft, but we are uh, we are going to use Visual Studio ID. This one. Uh, I want. This. Okay. You can see that we write our videos in our uh, codes in here. So, I think that uh, for these lessons, uh, Visual Studio is the best because it's free and also Microsoft supports this ID. Now, just go type Visual Studio in Google and just go visualstudio.microsoft.com. Yes, guys. Now, here you can see we have download Visual Studio and download Visual Studio code. You can select any of them. Uh, no, you can also download Visual Studio Code, but I'm not going to download this because uh, we, no, we don't have to use this Visual Studio Code uh, ID. We are just going to use Visual Studio, uh, which in this uh, ID we can develop C sharp.net score applications. So just download this, just come here, and you can see Community 2019. If you want to download this ID for Mac, you can also download from here. But I want to say that uh, in Mac, uh, it doesn't support very well. So you can see that it's like something 19th design or uh, 20th uh, design. So if you want, you can use another ID. Uh, uh, if you are in Macs, you can also use Rider. You can just check out this Rider. Uh, but I want to say that uh, it costs money, so it costs uh, 20 or 13 dollars. So if you want to use, if you want to pay and get better, you can also do that for Macos. But uh, we will use Visual Studio for this lesson. You can also click Donald Visual Studio Community 20, uh, 2019 and Donald this Visual Studio. If you are in Mac, you can also download from here. Uh, and Yes, we're going to end this lesson. Thank you very much. Bye. Going to use our ID. In the last video, we downloaded the Visual Studio ID. Now, if you download this ID, you'll have to go and write Visual Studio and just open it. Now.
maybe it will take one or two minutes to open that. Now, here you can see there is a projects, many projects, that's mine. Uh, don't look at them. Also, you will have uh, these projects uh, after end of this lesson. So, what we are going to do now is press add new. Yes. Also, maybe UI will be different in Linux and in Windows. So, that's the problem. Don't look at that. Uh, steps are the same. Now, just going go to other .NET console project and click next. And in here, what I want to say is that project name and solution name. What is solution name? Okay, we understand project name. That will be our project name. But what is solution name? In C Sharp, I want to say that we have solutions. So that will be your, how we can say, uh, your dependencies, your solutions. Okay. For uh, now, just forget that. Uh, we will describe, uh, we will talk about that uh, very deep in .NET, in .NET lessons, so just forget that. Now, project name will be, uh, for example, test, uh, test project, and you can also uh, write test project. Now, let's just start. And you can see that our app deployed. Now, uh, just see, our solution is coming. Uh, that will take one minute. Okay. And test project and program dot CS. CS. Now, you can see that here we have properties, uh, packages, references, a lot of things. But what is that? Now, I want to say that here, first of all, you can say, using system. This, this, this describes that we want to implement a method. So what we can say, using method is used to use a library, use a method, you, uh, or inject a class or something else. That. So using this keyword, using keyword, we can access to our app references or uh, libraries. So, now let's just look at. Here we have references. And down below we have also a system. So, you can see that using system comes from references system. And this system, this system uh, library comes with this uh, .NET application. So, you, uh, if, you, if you look at this system, uh, in web, we can see that this system covers a lot of methods and we're going to use these methods in our course. Just uh, forget this system, just forget this reference also. I just want to, I want to, to say a little bit about system, using a system. So now, what is namespace test project? Now, you can see that this is our project and maybe we can also have a different project. now. If you want, just click here and add new project. Okay. After that, we have also we have to go also here, console or empty project, whatever you want. Maybe if you want console, if you want empty, but I want to also make a console. Uh, also, you, sh you should make this console. Now, project name will be, for example, test four. Test four, for example. Okay. And here you can see that it's used namespace test for, but this used namespace test project. Why? Because this class, uh, this yes, uh, this file belongs to this method. Uh, no, this is not a method. This is a folder. If you look at in Finder, if you look at uh, using your local machine, you can see that. This is a folder, this is a file. So this file belongs to this folder and this file belongs to this folder. And using namespace, we describe uh, which file belongs to which folder. Okay, now we have here public, static, void, main, uh, blah, 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 and a lot of things. I will explain that later. Now, what are we going to go do? Let's say in real time, in real life, you want to write something. You want to write, you want to uh, write, for example, what? You want to write a 
an apple or car you will write uh, these keywords using your pencil or pen yes am i wrong yes it's true you will use your pencil to write these keywords but now what keyword we should use what pen we should use to write an keyword or an cha or something in our machine in our code so let's just see in c sharp we have this method console dot write line now what's this method do this method will write our word for example you can see we write here hello word it can be another thing for example what it can be uh, if we want we can write apple car pencil or something else so in constant right line we write a keyword in here and it writes to us now let's just test this maybe i want to write apple just jump here in our project test uh, we are maybe just a in just a minute we are uh, in here test for project uh, if you want to start your application, if you want to see uh, output, you have to save this project, command S, or you can also here save, you can uh, click save button. After that, just come here, test, and if you want to start your project, you can also come here and select test 4, or you can just come here, test, uh, or you can also just jump, jump here and start. Uh, run project so maybe we can use run project just jump here and run project and we will see output now our local machine starts this uh, code and here uh, says that will success successful and here we see our output apple now just see if we write here for example car this will also write our keyboard now that's good that's good and you can see uh, this is test for sorry what's happened uh, I clicked another thing I'm so sorry now uh, we'll just jump here A program ceases test for and we can run also this project and see output of this code and we can see car output that's good now what I want to say is that in this lesson we will uh, learn more but I want to say that um, it's over 10 or 20 minutes so maybe we can close this video but uh, after this video I want to say that we will cover variables uh, and another thing so uh, for this video maybe console.wordline is uh, good so bye and See you later. Uh, introduce variables. Let's start. At the end of the lesson, last lesson, well, we just write console right line car code, which output is car. Now, let's just see. In real life, we have what names? For example, David, David, um, Sam, John. Uh, or what uh, also we have what uh, Martin or something else yes I'm true yeah I'm true so we have uh, names in, uh, in real life so what we're going to do is um, introduce variables in real life uh, we have friends we have uh, we are humans so uh, we have names and we and wait if we want to uh, make a person what we should do for example we have here four person and we also want in real life and also we want to write these four person so I want to say that let's just uh, see there's a human which name is what David there is a human which name is Sam. Also, there is a human which name is John, and that goes 
and also Martin. So, we want to create a human object, human, which will be equal to Martin. Now, let's start. In here, it's a variable, human Martin. That's the variable. That is a variable. In programming language, that's a variable. Variable means that, variable means that we want to introduce a um, value to an object. To an object. So let's start. First of all, if we want to uh, make a string variable, string variable. Uh, what string variable? String variable is this. This is a keyword. But this keyword is what? String. String means that you write that. In real life, you write car using your pencil. In real life, uh, we can see numbers 0, 1. So, what we can say uh, with numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and let's go. Uh, and also, we have what? Float. Uh, that are uh, this, for example, 2.5, sorry, 0.4, uh, 4.6, or something else like that. And I want to say that in real life, we also have numbers, float, and what? String. We can say anything, string, which is described with these parentheses. Okay, for example, this is a string. Using this exception, using this, it means that our variable is a string, okay? Now, what it can be a string? Maybe David, maybe Sam, maybe John, maybe Martin, or maybe, uh, <laughs> okay, another um, name. So, the string is something that can uh, use these two things. For example, in number cannot be string. Why? Because this is number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is not a char. Okay? For that, string is a char. We can say that a uh, char's combination is string. Okay? Now, let's just go. Uh, to introduce a variable, human string, just right here, you can see string human. Human. And human will be equal for David. Now let's see David. We have another human, human 2, which will Sam. String John, which will be what? Martin. String, uh, sorry, that will be John. And string Martin. That will be Martin. You understand? Also, we can write human 3, human 4. That doesn't matter. Here, we say, what is this? This is an object and its value. Okay? After uh, equals, uh, ob after equals, we write what? Our value. For example, this is string. But if I write 0, it says that you write here a string. You, s you said that this object is string, but you want to define value of this string to integer. So, you can't do that. Let's just see. You have a human name of David, and you want to uh, set his name zero. Can it be? Can, can you do that? No. For that, you can use a string uh, two numbers, flow to string, okay? For that, that will be string David, and that's it. String can be uh, cars com charts combination. Now let's just see what we have. Also, we have int. Int will means numbers. Let's see int age. For example, uh, David age is ten. Sam age is uh, twenty. John age is thirteen, and uh, Martin age is fifty. Now just see, age 10, int age 
120 in age 2 uh, age 22 30 age 3 30 or something else left now you can see that we have uh, using int we can set an object which value can be equal to number now I want to say that if you write an object name twice we will get an error just see what it says a local variable or function name which is already defined in this scope so you cannot use a variable name in twice in this scope mm. so we should name it another so age 20 age <laughs> something else okay for that you can use this <clears throat> After we have float. What is this float? You can say float well, price price one float price one, which will be equal for what? Ten. If you write ten, that's okay. Why? Because ten is also this ten equals ten point zero zero. Float accepts also numbers, but it uh, changes these numbers to floats. Also, we can write here 20.50. Just see. Oh, double. Double. Sorry. That's double. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I forget. In some programming languages, float is another thing. So I have to write here double. Uh, but in Java, we use double. Uh, for fro float and you can see that double can be this and also this and this is also 10 equals to 10.00 so uh, we learned double we can use a double for example double price 2 which can be this or something else like that and now what we learned we learned how to declare a variable uh, we have integers, we have strings, we have doubles, we have uh, another things also, objects and something like that. But for that lesson, uh, I think that that is enough. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I didn't know. Going to learn new uh, skills in C Sharp and today we're just going to learn math. That's right. Now I want to also refer, uh, give a reference for to you. Um, you can also use the so W three skills math, but also we uh, I will write these codes. So if you want to uh, practice your C sharp knowledge, you can also use these site W three skills. And here we will go and learn everything that we need to. Uh, make maths operation. Let's just start now. You can see that that was our last video, but uh, I said that we will make a, comp a calculator application calculator website, but um, no, we uh, Don't have any knowledge about methods uh, for loop else if else which for that uh, we will make that uh, after when we learn before after um, if else switch cases loop uh, and method overriding and then we will make these calculator applications for that I want to just to start just delete this code and add something new what we can do now here you can see if we write math we can see that this also comes with using system you can check using system here class system dot math this attribute comes with uh, implementation of uh, system okay now if you uh, write dot math uh, dot you can see there is a lot of uh, method you can also check this method in c sharp documentation there are a lot of methods but we will just uh, write some of them because uh, you can see that some of uh, them are uh, high math for example 
algebra 2 or something else for that we don't need that but if you need you can just check out c-sharp documentation and learn that better now let's just start first of all i want to say that we can use max method to get max value of uh two or three components let's just use there is an error because it says that in here, in these brackets, we should write our components and we should write our numbers. If you want, you can write your numbers like this. Or if you want, so we should write two components, two numbers. If you want, also we can make int one, uh, int number, sorry, that will equal for one, and int number two, which will equal for two. And you can also use this one, number one, number, and here, number two. It's the same. <laughs> we'll learn this in variable uh, lesson. Now, let's start. What, uh, if we want to get result, we should write this method um, using console dot right line, you can see. And here, just put this method, just get it. And copy it and paste here and just delete this. And that's fine. We can also uh, delete this. And if we want to run this application, just run. Run project. You can see it's pulling and now just uh, wait and it will successfully and we get to. Why? Because two is bigger than one. Also, we can change these numbers three or five or five minus one minus two minus three minus four or something else. Uh, we can also uh, write if you want to get minimum, you can write min and let us run also this method and see what will happen. And minus four is minimum of number in this section. Also, we can use round method that I love. What does this round method did done uh, is that if we write here, num uh, for example, let's just uh, create a double, uh, double number, a double, sorry, test or something like that, and 2.40. And now, if we write here test, it will round this test variable to, uh, yes, it will round this test variables value 2.40. What will be? It will be 2. Why? Because 2.4, 2.4 is near to 2, not to 3. Let's just uh, run that. Uh, this is basically mathematical operation, so I don't want to uh, explain that deeper, but you can also learn that very easily. Just, um, sorry, just run project. And learn. let's see, 2.40 is equal for 2. It's near to 2, but it is not near to 3. If it uh, would be 2.50, it would be it will be near to 3. Let's just test that. But sometimes, you know, uh, yes, I want to say that sometimes system works uh, different because. Uh, you know, in math, they say 2.50 is near to 2, but they say 2.50 is near to third, uh, 3. So, I can say that uh, we cannot get anything from here. So, you should write 2.60 or something like that, and then if we run, we will get 3. And you can see that. It basically depends on system uh, also, um, no, that is not depend on C-sharp. That depends on uh, popularity of using. Uh, so, also, uh, I want to say that this, uh, this round method uh, works, congratulations. And now also we have uh, a different method, Ab ABS. What uh, this method does, let's just uh, create int negative number number and that will be uh, this method basically and what uh, this method uh, does is that this method gets negative number and change it to positive number let's just see negative number maybe minus 20 and that will be IBA ABS negative number and if we write this comment you can see that just run it also say 
don't uh, forget to save that. And now if we run this project, we will see that uh, that will be 20. Okay, minus 20 equals 4, uh, positive 20 using this method. Uh, you can also use another method. We can also have squared. This will give us a square of root, for example, 64, and just see. 8 square is 64, just, and just run from here. And you can see 64 is 8. Or maybe what we have, 16. What is 16th ro uh, square root? Like just get it, run project, just save, sorry, save it and then, and then run project. And four, we get. For now, I want to close this video. Uh, I hope you understand these mass operations. If you want, you can explore more, but uh, I think that I explained everything that you need to use in your real life. There are also uh, many methods, but we don't use that in real life. So we use sometimes, and I want to say that you shouldn't, I couldn't, I cannot uh, guide everything to you. You should also search and learn new things. In this course, I will teach you everything that you need to know to build a professional website but i will also teach you how to uh, read documentation how to uh, make a search and how to learn something and thank you very much for watching and see you later have a nice day now we're going to build a calculator application using c sharp now let's just start we are here that was our last project so if you want you can delete them now let's just see what we're going to build now we're just going to build a calculator application sorry just add this uh, using this calculator application uh, we will get input from our client and then we will give output now let's just see how we can do that first of all i want to ask user to write his uh, numbers for that console dot write line Please, if you want, just see, please write your, uh, please write your, for, maybe if you want, first of all, in this uh, episode, I'm going to show basic of uh, input and output, and the next uh, session, we will learn how to make complete uh, calculator application for that, just uh, learn how we can do a simple input and output operation please write your name and here uh, we will going to use using system has an method what method this is console dot read line okay using this method we can fetch uh, user input okay and just now uh, and console read line that will be let's just make please write your name no please write your uh, age please write your uh, something else and uh, let's just say your age must be int age must be and convert just see convert we learned uh, to int search to this method comes with using system implementation don't forget that and just write line your age is your age is and just here uh, what's happened you want hmm let's see just write here age And that's good. And now just if we run this application. Please write your age. I will put 10 and we get our input 10. That's fine. Now, let's just uh, 
if you want i just want to understand that here we write our uh, console write line this means this is our input this is uh, our input uh, this line is our input access to uh, access to our output and then get another one if you want also uh, just see console write line write line please write your write your age and then I'm just going to int h2 convert uh, to int 35 32 console dot read line okay and just see what will happen and if we run I just want to write here h plus h2 now see just run our code and just jump here please write your h10 please write your h20 and we get 30 you can see clearly 10 20 30 that's very good and if you want also we can use mm -hmm, these methods next video we are just going to learn math uh, C sharp math and then uh, we will build a native uh, we will build a calculator application C sharp math also you can use uh, W3 skills uh, documentation to lo look uh, C sharp I want to say that C sharp is easy to learn but in .NET we will use best practices best architecture I will also want to um, teach you clean architecture and clean code and also we're just going to build an amazing uh, web application that will be e-commerce and we will use microservices and angular so just wait Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Into learning type castings. Do you remember that I said that we cannot convert any char or any variable to another variable? For example, integer. We cannot uh, convert integer to string or string to integer. Now we're just going to learn C sharp type casting. Using C sharp type casting, which comes with C sharp uh, 5 or C sharp 4, we can cast our data type to another data type now let's just see here you can see that we have example uh, also I want to say that this site is very good w3 skills and also you can search this uh, website and learn new things about uh, maybe C sharp fundamentals and etc now let's just look at here and my int equals 9 and double my double equals my int now and also you can see that we write our outputs here console dot write line console dot write line this is and our outputs will be nine now why let's just see what we said double is what uh just see just click here actually i want to say that double equals this 99 9.00 when we say that double my double equals for my int that becomes this value okay my double will be 9.00 and for that our answer is 9 why because 9.9 .9 equals 49 for that this code will work definitely with, uh, definitely without getting any error now you can see that also we can use expli explicity casting using this we use manual casting and here we said that i want to convert this that type to int manual casting double to int when we do that we get nine we don't get uh these ones the seven we don't get seven eight we, we get only nine 
because they are not integers, they are not numbers. They are decimals, doubles. So just go. Now, I want to say that also we have this method uh, which comes with using system. I, uh, I said that this system attribute, this system library has a lot of uh, method, a lot of implementation, so it is very useful. And here you can see that it converts. Convert dot to string, we get what? Mind tab. Uh, now you can maybe ask, you said that integers are numbers. Strings are uh, name or something else which is charge combination. But how it can be? How a number can be string now? I want to say that first of all, uh, our first output is like this. Okay, this. This is string. Do you remember that I said that if you want to write a string value, you should use these ones. Okay, this. For that, this will be ten, but without this. If we write with this. Um, if we write only 10, that will be number and we will get an error. Uh, but if we write this number like this, that will be string. And I want to say that uh, we cannot here make any calculation because this is string. Uh, so maybe you can use uh, this string then to convert it or something else. But I, uh, I think that it's uh, clear. Now just learn also to insert the two. What this makes? Uh, we have in 32 and in 64. That's bits. So um, don't look at uh, that. It's uh, it covers one million data or something else like that. Uh, and here we have bool. We also convert this bool uh, to string. And you can see that. Here our bool is true, uh, t is not capital, but in here our output, we can see that t is capital. And maybe uh, we can stop our video just, yeah, thank you very much for watching. This lesson we're just going to advance our string variable knowledge, that's that. Now, I, w uh, I prepared this for you. I want to delete them and now let's start. In this lesson, we're just going to learn um, what is string actually, uh, how to access string uh, character, how to access uh, strings index or something else. We will learn everything that we need to know uh, about string. Let's start. Now, let's start. Uh, let's say that our ball said that I want to access this string values, this value is hello, test strings values, first character. And let's see, first character hello is h. So let's start. How you can access this character? Do you know? Uh, we have now. Let's just write the hello world characters h, e, l, l, o. Yes. Now, I want to say that to uh, access um, any word or anything, character or, uh, yes, character uh, about string, uh, I'm talking about string, so what we should do is we, there, uh, we have what? Indexes. Now, what is this index? Every keyword uh, has charts, yes? This charts has index. What? Let us know. Uh, H has zero index, E has one index, L has second index, and second L has third index. Why? Now, uh, you can see that we start H with zero. Why we started zero? In computer, uh, mach our machine accepts uh, yeah, let's just say you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. But computer starts typing using 0. Why? Because uh, 0 uh, 
is acceptable number in our machine. So uh, it starts writing something with zero. It starts with zero and go and it doesn't end. So what we said, H is zero, E is one, L is second uh, two and uh, second L is third and O is four. Now to access this parameter, this uh, string uh, NHR, what we uh, what we have to do is just write here test and open these uh, branch uh, brackets. Sorry, and in here just put your index number. My I want to access number H, so for that I write zero, and it says one. What you are doing? Just write console write line and see what will happen. Let's just start our application, save this command, save this code, and then run project and we'll see successfully a message. Let's see. H. But if I write here one, one I will get what? E. Let's just see. Just uh, click here and run project. And you can see we get E. So for that, remember every card, everything start with zero in indexes in programming language. Okay. Now uh, I want to say that if you want to, let our both say that I have two components string tends to it will be word. I want to con uh, I want to concat all of them. I want to uh, yes concat. How we can do? In here, you can see I imported what using system dot link. Uh, uh, this system implementation covers a lot of things, uh, math uh, or if else statement, and many things is depends on the system implementation. So you can see uh, we we done uh, we did a lot of things using this system implementation and also this system implementation has what concat method let's just learn let's just create string test three that will be contact of uh, both uh, them and what i want to do is string let's see string dot concat method and just it says that yeah, it want two parameters for that I will write test and test two. And if I write console dot write line and what I will see is test three. I will see hello world. Okay, prepare it and run. And you can see I get hello world. If I want to just make here space to see clearly now run again and we will see also hello world that's nice now let's just say that how i can get length of this index like sorry string first that also this using system method uh, implementation uh, has string dot length method let's just use that if I want to write, for example, let's just write here, get that, get this, and paste three times, okay, test dot what, length, okay, this will show me length of this string, now also test three dot length, and just run this command and also i want to say that length will be integer if you want also the six five eleven also we can uh, make uh, div division uh, division um, calculation or something like that and you can see that uh, they are integer lengths are lengths are integer sorry lengths are integer integer which you can say int also uh integer is same to int now uh, it's short enough integer also what i want to show you is when we want to 
for example, what we re, uh, we said concat uh, and the length and maybe yes, we have to finish this video because it's more than ten minutes and I don't want to uh, you become hate. I don't want to hate my videos, my lessons. So thank you very much for watching, and see you later in next uh, in next video, in next tutorial. We're just going to uh, learn methods, if uh, no, if else statements, and then switch and methods. And thank you very much for watching, and see you later. Tutorial. We're just going to learn if statements, else statements, and else if statements. Let's start. First of all, I want to say that we use if else and else if statements a lot in programming languages also when we are going to create our web application but in professional life we don't uh, use if else and else if where uh, many times why because you can see that what i said there is clean code and dirty code if you use if else many times that will be dirty code uh, for that, now I'm going to show you if, else, and else if statements. But you have to remember, don't use them many times. I don't say that that uh, they are useful, they are unuseful, they are useful. But you should know where to use. Uh, I cannot, I cannot uh, tell you now because we haven't learned uh, switch. But after we learn switch and if. And when we learn .NET, I will show you where and how we should use if statements. Yeah. In this uh, course, I want to tell you, I want to teach you clean code and clean architecture. For that, just remember, use them when it is necessary. But when it isn't necessary, don't use them because uh, there are many developers who don't know how to use, how to use these if statements and then they write every time these statements. Now, let's start. When we use if statements, let's say that in real life, uh, we're going to somewhere and something happened. For example, uh, what happened? Uh, let's say, if something happened, I will go to school. Maybe if my mom uh, make me Cake, I will go for school and for that what we use they we use conditions also we have these conditions we have conditions uh, in what in programming language for that we have three condition conditionals uh, they are if else and else if what they uh, what they uh, do now let's read that if use if to specify a block of code to be executed if a specified condition is true Use else to specify a block of code to be executed if the same condition uh, is false. Uh, and use else if to specify a new condition to test if the first condition is false. Huh? If you don't understand, don't be panic. I will uh, show you. Let's write today and today. This will be zero. If I'm going to write my condition. Sorry, just delete them. Now let's just write. If day equals uh, no, we don't have zero day, but uh, first day money. Okay. If day equal equal, just remember, we use we use uh, when one uh, when we want to um, want to make equal operation operation in if statement. Now what I say here, if day equals equals one, uh, we can say if day is morning, today is morning, what I'm going to do, just write, mm -hmm. today is morning, for example. Also, let's use else. If today is not morning, if day uh, is not equal to one, what I'm going to do is use else, for example, else. And here maybe we can write console write i'm today. Today is not morning. OK. 
okay, it's nice. And also we have else if, just remember, you should write else at the end of your conditionals. So when you uh, just see if statement worked, then else if, else if is same to if, but we say uh, we don't want to use every time if statement, for that we use else if, uh, if, uh, let's say, this method is not true. Uh, so that will be day, maybe day is two, so this if statement will be false, so uh, this method, this line won't be work, and so it will read else if statement code. For that, maybe we can write here, else if day equal equal to, what I'm going to write, uh, console write I'm Today, just right. Today is what? Tuesday. Nice. And at the end of uh, our if and else if statements, we write else statement. Uh, if these two operation is not true, that will done last operation. That will do last operation, and we will get constant right line. Today is not morning. If these statements. Uh, are false. Now, if you want, let's just let's save your code, jump here and run where is run? Run project. And today is Tuesday. We got it. But what I'm going to teach you. Now, you can see that we have a lot of if. We have else if, but maybe our day will be 3, or 4, or 5, or 6, or 7, we have to write this if else is 7 times. We have an uh, easy method to that, for that, and that is what? Switch case. I will teach you this in next episode, okay? Switch case. But also this switch case uh, is sometimes uh, dirty code because they don't know how to use this switch case. You can use switch case, but if you know, if you look at code, professional code, uh, .NET Framework uh, documentations, uh, maybe eShop on container project, which is uh, created by uh, microservice architecture, um, they use clean code and they don't use switch case. Maybe you can use in your big project one, two, or three time total, but um, it has many, many different methods that is very fast and that solves our problems and it becomes clean code. For that, guys, I want to tell that, yeah, I want to tell you we are done. We have uh, done if and else if and else uh, statements. So thank you uh, very much for watching and I will give you homework to do. Uh, if you do this homework, you will definitely uh, be better developer, I think. But also, uh, this homework will be more useful when we learn .NET, .NET Core framework. And so, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Sorry, we're just going to learn what is which statement. Let's start. And last week we learned if statements, and we said that uh, if our day will be three or four, we should write uh, if statements uh, many times, six times, seven times, eight times, and for that, I think that we should uh, use switch statement. Let's just see what is switch, switch statement. I write just here. Use this switch statement to select one of many code blocks to be executed. The switch expression is related once. The value of the expression is compared with the name with the values of each case. If there is a match, the associated block of code is executed. The default keyword is optional and specifies some code to run if there is no case match. Now, let's just start. Uh, I think that we can use this day. Mm, let's say day is five, so that will be Friday. And just use switch attribute. Let's just start. Uh, just see, it will do switch not switch. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, we should use this switch uh, case. When you write switch case, you have to open these brackets and here you must write your uh, parameter which you want to make a uh, switch, you, which you want to uh, select one of my code blocks to be executed. For that, just write your day. And then I'm gonna write here my case, case one, for example. That will my case, uh, let's see. What's happened? I don't know. <laughs> just write also break. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is if case one, if day equals for one, I'm just going to write console dot write line. And what is, uh, I'm going to write here is day one, day one. Why I'm writing the upper break is that this function completed and uh, I want to stop here and execution will stop just in here. Then I want uh, maybe I have case two. This will be my case two, and here maybe I can write console dot um, right line, uh, right line, which will be day two. Yes, see day two, uh, and also write break and case three. You can see uh, console dot right line day three. And also maybe we can get this. Next break. Let's put this break and that will be case four. And also write here break. And one more time, this will be case five. And here maybe we can write day five. And then also we can write break. Uh, and after, if all of them work and we couldn't get any result, what we are going to do is write default. If this statement works, this is similar to else statement. If these conditions work and nothing is, uh, if we couldn't get any response, so what we are going to do is write our own code. Console, just write console dot write line, and here just put your day five. Day is default, for example, or day is uh, maybe five, okay, or maybe c seven. And just write also break method and just stop that. Now, if you want, uh, let's see and just uh, see what will happen. Just click on our project and run. And just see what happened. Building started, build succeed, and we can see that day is five. If I write here, uh, for example, seven, what will happen? Just save your code and run project, and we will get. And day seven. Why? Because our default method worked. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. You can also use W three skills uh, switch uh, case. Uh, switch case documentation also you can watch uh, or get uh, another doc or read documentation uh, in C-sharp website but I think that it is clear to um, understand the switch cases it is uh, very useful and don't uh, forget that uh, this switch case isn't um, everything okay it is nothing so we don't use that in uh, real Sorry, there should be that for. Uh, we don't use this switch case a lot of time. We use only five for, uh, for time in big projects, so it isn't so uh, necessary. We, we will learn clean code and clean architecture, and we will make better of them. Now, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye. We're just going to learn what is while and loop. Just start. Also, you can get uh, this website link. In description and you can also enjoy this website documentation C about c sharp or another language you can see that it supports java uh, bootstrap python py php and more now let's just start what is loop we use loops in our programming languages and it is very good because it decreases it reduces bugs and also uh, it is very useful uh, you can use it anytime if you, uh, it is good to use uh, i can say but you should use them uh, necessary when it's necessary. Okay, let's just read. Loops can execute a block of code as long as a specified con condition is reached. Okay, we can start a loop. For example, uh, we can go 
uh, let's say uh, we have variable which equal for zero and we want to uh, make increase uh, method and so we will increase that but uh, when it will be for example 5 it should break and it should stop our loop uh, we can see an example of this loop loops are handy because they save time reduce errors and they make code more readable it's true so it's uh, we can say that it's a part of clean code the do while loop is a variant of the while loop. The loop will execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true. When, then it will repeat the loop as long as condition is true. Also, I want to say that we have uh, if, uh, for, sorry, for loop, we will learn it next uh, tutorial. And uh, now let us start. First of all, uh, just maybe command these lines so we don't have to use them. Let's start. Now, let's just say we have an integer that will be equal for a, uh, which will equal for 0, and I want to, uh, maybe, let's just write here, console write line 0, for, sorry, a, and here just do that, and while here. Now, what I'm going to do here, exactly, is that just remove this one, while a will be more than 10. Okay, what's this method done now? This method says that I have a variable which is equal to 0 and I want to do an unlook so I make uh, my condition while uh, a uh, is less than 10. In what and in here in do I say that just console right line okay, okay just show me input uh, show me output uh, and I will see what uh, I will see a well is every time every loop I will see uh, a but it will be changed every every time it will be changed why because loop is uh, loop is running so but just uh, we have an error here what we have to increase or decrease our a variable in just here because uh, we don't uh, you can see that uh, it will write this comment every time because there isn't any break method we we said that here if a uh, this will work while a uh, is less than 10 but we c we don't increase this method we should increase after execution of uh, this console write line. I want to uh, say that we have to decrease or increase this value. So we start with zero, so we can decrease. Uh, we have to uh, increase. Also, this is our goal. Now, just run this command uh, uh, code and save and run project, and we will see that one, two. Let's see. Uh, it starts from zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But it doesn't write 10. It's very good. Also, it's uh, you can also check out this website. I said that W3Skills, it helps uh, us um, uh, very well. But I want to say that C Sharp is uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, .NET, C, we will learn C Sharp very good. But uh, our goal is to learn .NET very good. Also we can, uh, but OOP is object oriented programming is very difficult and you should learn it very well to um, become better developer and also we use uh, classes and OOP everywhere and it's uh, it is very good. So for that I, uh, I think that if a language has OOP it's better language than uh, a language that has not OOP. Mm -hmm. In this la also, uh, if you don't want to do this too, and uh, yes, there is some rules also, I, for uh, I forgot to say that. Here, you should write your do method uh, first, and then you should write your condition while method. Also, if you don't, uh, if you don't want to write these different codes, do and while, you can use this simple code. While, and just if you want to uh, delete this one, and get this. You can also write with only using while. You don't have to use do, but if you want, you can also use do. If you don't want, you can use this simple way, and it will do same thing if you want. 
Just run that. I will give you homework and maybe uh, after finishing your homework you will learn uh, your brain will be clear about this uh, well, about this for loop while loop next lesson we are just going to learn for loop thank you very much for watching have a nice day thank you very much bye learning for loop let's start now I want to say that uh, also for and win uh, and mm, while do anything but there is difference let's just read what's this difference when you know exactly exactly how many times you want to loop through a block of code use the for loop instead of a while loop okay do you understand let's just write some code and you will understand better now let's start Let's just write here for, and let's say that we have a e variable which will be equal for. Um, just change that to a nice. And let's just say now we want to uh, make a function, um, or if you want to, also you can define this command in just here, and it won't be brain okay and let's say uh, make a loop operation it will make this loop operation until e will equal to uh, 10 and what I'm going to do increase or decrease what I said this loop will be go forever but we don't want that uh, for that we should decrease or increase so for that we want to increase and we write increase method and just right here console dot write line and here I'm going to write e if you mind just write this comment and see our output let's just see I didn't want to show that okay close that and run our comment and what we will see And you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It writes success. Now, it is very similar to um, while statement. So, it is very easy to use and also it is um, very popular. You can use it anywhere. Uh, not anywhere, but uh, what I can say is that I have more than 15 projects in .NET Core and I saw that the, this for method is very useful. Uh, they use more, uh, they use for. Uh, I know that for is better than while. I don't know why, but developers use for. So they don't like while. Now, uh, also I want to teach you some components they are break and continue what they what they do now let's say that it will write console let's see sorry dot write line this will write our common yes our e uh, our value but I think that um, maybe our boss uh, said that I don't want to get uh, output of four for that what I want to do is that I want to show every every data except number four number three N no matter which one which one do you want for that I will just come here and I will say if statement and in if statement I will write if I e equals for four I want to what I want to continue continue Using this method, what this method uh, do is that uh, what this method does is that uh, when uh, e will equal for four, it won't write this four, okay, uh, and it will continue, and output will be something like this: zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. With uh, using continue. Output will be this. Now, if you want, let's just run our code, save it, and run project and see what will. Okay, you can see that we don't get 
number four. You can write any number which of one, which of one you want to uh, delete from our uh, four. And also maybe I want uh, you want that uh, if my uh, value, my variable gets uh, value maybe what nine or five, I want to stop this for loop. For that we have break method. Using this break method, what it does? Uh, if you want, just see and now run our project and we will see output. You can see that it writes using break output will be 0, 1, 2, 3. It writes, you can see where is my terminal build output or no, terminal, yeah. Here you can see that it writes 0, 1, 2, 3, but not 4. It will stop when my variable becomes 4 and this loop will end and I will get only uh, these numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. I think that uh, that's, that's a clear. Uh, this will learn 4 and also I want to teach you 4H. What's this 4H stuff? Now, just delete these lines. I don't want. Uh, if you if you want, you can use just comment these lines. Uh, now, just open these lines. Now, let's just see. We have here array. If you don't know, don't be panic. I will uh, teach you this in the next uh, tutorial, so it isn't a problem. Now, let's just say we have one, two, three, and four. And three, yes. Now just see what we're going to do. Uh, if you want to read an array, you should use forage. Using this forage method, it does uh, similar to for, but it will write uh, uh, it will write cards single time. Okay, it will write uh, output will be. Let us write output will be. This will be output. Volvo. BMW, Ford, and Mazda. So this will be output. It will uh, go. For, it will uh, analyze this array. It will find. Uh, it will find his values. His index. This uh, he uh, their index zero one two three. If you remember, we said that index starts uh, from zero. And it will write each car each value in our terminal. Let's just if, um, run this command, just jump here and run project. Volvo, BMW, Ford and